Hello, one well, and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Now, my obsession and love for the McLaren 570S has been very well documented over recent months, and actually, my new obsession with the 540C has been very well documented over recent days. However, unfortunately, both of these new McLaren Sports Series are just out of reach. The 570S is far too expensive, and currently, even the 540C, once it's got options on it, etc., is just a bit too far out of reach for my budget. So today, we're coming to look at this McLaren 12C, a car which is four or five years old now, but I still think looks absolutely awesome and could be my way to get into the McLaren brand as my next car. So yes, we are going to leave this beautiful 570S behind and jump into this Volcano Red 12C for today's test drive. A supercar now, Tony. Bloody hell, oh, supercar. Now, I don't know if you heard this earlier. This is not a standard 12C. This is a 12C with an IP exhaust. Yeah. That's been remapped to 750 horsepower. 750? 750. So we're not exactly testing a straightforward car. And, and what are they standard? Six? Uh, well, and this was a 2012, so either 592 or 616 if it's got the upgrade. So either way, it's got about 150 brake extra. Um, so let's, I mean... Didn't think I was going to start <laughs> there. I didn't know what that was. I was like, oh, it's not starting. First gear, uh, door open. Someone's door's open. Oh dear. Slam it. Slam it. Look, your little window hasn't gone up. Open it all the way out. You just need someone who knows the cars, that's all it is. Just someone who knows the cars. So if you buy buy one of these, you need a caddy to shut your doors. Yeah. <laughs> right, now uh, the doors are closed. Let's get this car onto some proper roads and see what a 750 horsepower 12C is going to be like. No! <laughs> Okay, so we have to address the fact of reliability because you can't shut the doors. Can't shut the doors. And it is quite a famed thing, unfortunately, with 12Cs that because they were early McLaren cars, the reliability wasn't quite there yet. Um, I think everyone is aware there's are videos online about it. I'm trying to look past that because as I say, I've fallen in love with the McLaren brand over the last year and potentially this is my only way in because we still haven't found a 540 even though we're looking in the budget. So for now the 12C is my only option so I, I've got to find a way to look past potential reliability issues for quite mega performance because even stock, let's forget this 750 horsepower <laughs> version, what are we doing? Um, it is still mega. So uh, we found a road um, and we're going to go for a drive. I'm going to leave everything off for now. I'm not going to go any of the active buttons. <laughs> we're literally in auto and normal mode. Oh, you can ease me in. drive here now some of the buttons things that look a little dated now this is a 2012 car yeah which is kind of the way we would be looking for, for budget wise about a 2012 2011 car probably um, and yes yeah, some of the things look a little dated the air con controls some of the sort of tight front and stuff but as a place to be and sit in 
Oh my god, supercar. Yeah. Like, like so special, right? Really lovely finished as well. Lovely finished, like, like you know, on the dash. sway on the dash, red yeah. stitching, Alcantara of it, which I love, and it it has such an immediate sense of occasion. As soon as you get in. As soon as, soon as you get in, up. you know, yeah. as long as you can shut the doors. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, yeah, immediate supercar. You look over those front scoops and stuff, and ah, oh, amazing. Yeah. From that point of view. It kind of beats our other prime contender of R8 because immediately I'm getting like a real buzz and excitement. Yeah, this has got this is definitely a sense of Like, ooh, yeah, yeah, and I'm a bit nervous and a bit yeah. twitchy and yeah. doesn't that feel great for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, and another thing is from a usability point of view, it's so comfy in here. Yeah, the seats are great, surprisingly smooth ride that all these McLarens seem to be able to have. It's just very easy to cruise around like this, right? So all of that done and out of the way, should we see how it, how it drives? Yeah, let's go. Active panel on, switch immediately to sport on both the handling and performance. So what have you got now then? I'm now on manual gearbox, yeah. the aero wing at the back will flick up under braking. Okay. More responsive throttle, more responsive steering. Okay. Do it. I've learned that you really have to be quite forceful with these little paddles. It's the same McLaren thing of like the swinger, so you can shift with either side. But you really have to yank yeah. and that IP exhaust yeah, it comes to life. Third gear, squeeze. That was like just barely turbo. About 10% 10, 10 force. Yeah, that was. <laughs> this thing is going to be. Yeah, that's going to be a monster. Like Trash it, go away. Yeah, I feel like we should literally return. Let's, let's turn here and see what happens. We need an air fuel for this car. Yeah. And the sound, obviously so different to cars that I'm usually used to in terms of naturally aspirated big things. It's very turboed, but... Yeah, this is really I, and, it, and it feels a lot lower to the ground than the R8. Right? super low. It's a proper track car. And very darty, like, you yeah. know. Steering good. Steering feels wonderful. <laughs> Whoa. And you know what? I, I, I say, I've talked about it so much on the channel. Um, my sort of newfound love for McLaren ever since that 570 test drive in Tenerife um, with the GT and then the S the following day. And and it's just, it really makes me get excited. Like it really makes my heart pound. And so much of this car reminds me of those those feelings. So that's got to be a good thing. I think one big fundamental difference between this and the R8 as well. I don't think you'd get bored of this because of the sense of occasion and because of how you feel when you get in it. So I'm going to try and do a three point turn now in a McLaren. Let's see how this works out for us. Uh, this is good. This is a good test of everyday livability. Here we go. It is. Gearbox is a little bit more clunky than I thought it would be. Is it? Yeah, so com fast, compared to some things that we've driven recently that have been pretty silky smooth. It is, but oh, turning is just insane. <laughs> Tony, you're grabbing for something to hold on to. <laughs> what the hell is that? Do you know what? It's the turbo. It's I mean, we have to remember that this is a tuned car, but. <laughs> My God! Oh, it's incredible. It is. Oh, okay. Got a bit more of an open road now. Oh! <laughs> Tony! What are we in? It's We're in a spaceship! It's not a monster, so it's going to take off. Oh. It's an absolute A little bit of wheel spin there. It's strongest for the pad arm because it's been tuned, but it's obviously a bit of a greasy day as well. But it just feels so really agile as well, doesn't it? Yeah. But you're 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 not flat. No, no, no. no. It's, it's all just, progressive. It's, it's all, all progressive. progressive. I don't feel confident enough no, to no. absolutely floor it. 
And it's a big thing with all these test drives, you know, you're learning the car as you go, so you can't just get in and absolutely nail it unless you're Lewis Hamilton or Chris Harris. But yeah, it's such an interesting proposition, this car, because as I say, I still, for me, if we could find a 540, let's say this was the same price as a 540, I would still pick a 540. Even though this stock has more horsepower and blah, 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 it, it, it feels a little bit dated and obviously there are the big reliability issues. But it does that thing which I'm so surprised that McLaren makes me feel the same way I feel about Ferraris. Does it? It honestly, like, it makes my heart flutter. I know it sounds a bit gay, but I, 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 you don't know how excited I am right now. Really? I'm like having the best time ever. Yeah. Are you not? From the past? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I am. I am. But that's your big Ferrari fan, you know? Big Ferrari fan. Like, but, oh. Oh my god. I guess then on the you know the other argument is then back to back to looking at the R8s or, or you know other options that we're still going to test drive in the coming days that could blow us away. Um, you know you should have. You know, uh, I don't know. I love McLaren now. <laughs> Ooh, it's a it's a proper one. supercar. It's a prop. It's a full out. Uh, it's a racing car. It's not even a super. It's a racing car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a it's, proper it's racing yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. Parked back up at John Holland and the 12C has definitely given me a lot to think about over the coming days. Um, yeah, I loved it, but Tony made some very good points. So, some thoughts to have for sure. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you are subscribed because as I say, the search is ramping up. Test drives galore in the coming days.